Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and as promised I am continuing my affordable Amazon nail supply series. I guess that's what I'll call it, I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, I did, I wanted to review a, a gel polish kit that I got a couple months ago actually and I just saw that it's on sale for the same price that I purchased it for. Now before I hop into that, um, I did post yesterday on my community tab this beautiful gel polish kit from Beatles. It's only $7.19 y'all, like that is a steal for Beatles gel polish. I think that's less than what I paid for it when I bought it. And this Model 1's gel base and top that's 15 ml is $5 and some change. So um, if you guys want to get your hands on it, I'm going to leave it linked down in the description box below. Um, and also every single Tuesday I do post um, deals that I find on Amazon. And so if you guys are interested in that, definitely stick around and uh, make sure you guys are checking out my community tab so you all can snack those deals as I find them. Without further ado, this is the gel polish kit that I haul. Um, or that I purchased a few months ago. I think I got it in December and as soon as I saw this go on sale I did purchase it. I bought it for 11 bucks and it's actually 12 gel polishes. It's from the company Nail Whisper. I actually have not tried any products from this brand but I really like the packaging um, and this is just what it looks like here. Pretty plain and simple but the actual box itself is pretty sturdy so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here and show you guys what it's looking like. So this collection came with 12 15 ml gel polishes and these are one step gel polishes meaning you don't need a base coat, you don't need a top coat, you just need these gel polishes. So. For 11 bucks, I thought that was a steal. Um, so I'm gonna just go through and show you all all the colors. The first color here is N01, and this is what the bottle looks like. I think it's really cute. So it's this really cute, like pastel pink color, and it has this really nice bow on it. And then it has the company name, and it says it's a one-step gel, as you all can see. And then it says it is 15 ml. So I think the bottles are really cute and different and unique. I've not seen any other gel polishes with this bottle design. But yeah, y'all, these are what the colors are looking like. Okay. This has been sitting for a little bit, so let me shake it up a little bit. Yeah, it feels nice and creamy. Okay. Let's see about the viscosity. Okay, it's a medium viscosity, slightly on the thick side, which I like, so I'm not mad at that. So yeah, that is N01. The next color is N02. Okay. And this, are, this is a really pretty, like, peach color. Okay. I really like that. So this collection overall is like a collection of pastels. So I'm really excited to get these colors swatched. Next we have N03. And this is more like a peachy color. Very pretty. I feel like these colors are perfect for springtime, which is right around the corner. This is N04. Ooh, that's a really pretty light blue. Yeah, that's nice. N05. Okay, that's a really pretty like muted orange color. Very pretty. N06. Ooh, that's a really pretty like light lavender purple. I really like that one a lot. That's cute. N07. Okay, that's a really light yellow color. Very pretty. N08. Beautiful pink color. Yeah, that's really nice. This would be perfect for Valentine's Day sets. It's February, so that's really nice. N09. Ooh, I like this. This is a really kind of a deep pink color. It looks like the brush was a little bit bent, but it straightened itself out, so that's okay. This is really pretty, I love that. This one feels thicker than the rest of the, the polishes, though. I'm not sure why that is. Did you see how this one kinda takes a while to like separate? So this one seems like it's a bit thicker than the rest of the gel polishes. N10, ooh, that's pretty. This is a really cute, like, mauve nude color. I really like this a lot, that's gorgeous. N11, another beautiful, this is kind of like a mint green color, really pretty. N12, ooh, okay, this is a, a really pretty, kind of like light olive green color, that's nice. This is the entire collection, and like I said, this box is really nice and sturdy, so I can see myself keeping this box and repurposing it for something else, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these colors swatched and then we'll get into a look, okay? N01. Okay, 
So these polishes do apply very smooth. I would say that's pretty opaque for one coat coverage. I'm not mad at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 and zero two. Yeah, I'm not mad at this formula. Yeah, these polishes are looking really good. Uh, and the fact that they're like a one-step gel polish, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna be excited um, once I take these out the lamp to see, you know, if they cured without me having to apply a top coat. If so, I'm gonna be really excited about that. Yeah, this is this is good coverage, you guys. This is really great. N03. The only thing I will say too is that there is like a weird smell to the gel polishes. They kind of smell like, mm, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a, I don't know, maybe like a burnt plastic smell almost. I don't know, I don't know how to describe the smell, but it's, I mean, it's not like overwhelming, but you know, there you will notice it if you're using it, you know? So that's just something to keep in mind, but nothing that would deter me from getting the gel polishes because for 11 bucks, you can't beat that, okay? So I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, happy people. So I was quite enjoying the formula of these gel polishes. I think they're really nice. They're really creamy. They're opaque for one coat coverage and for also being a one step gel polish and they self level beautifully. So I really like these gel polishes a lot and I would actually highly recommend them. And for the price, you really can't beat it. Again, I am gonna leave the link for these gel polishes down in the description box in case you guys are interested, but I am loving them. Alrighty, so this is what all the colors are looking like swashed out. I'm absolutely loving this collection. It's very, very beautiful. So I'm going to go through and give you all a close of each color. And I really love the fact that it is a one-step gel polish, y'all. Like, I did not apply any top coat or anything. I just went in with two layers of gel polish and I was done. So this is N01, which is a really pretty soft pink color. N02, which is a really pretty, like, light pink peach color in 03 which is kind of like a light orange which is really nice in 04 which is a really pretty light blue kind of sky blue color in 05 which is a really nice orange in 06 which is a really pretty kind of light lavender purple in 07 which is this really beautiful soft pastel yellow in 08 which is this gorgeous pink it's kind of like a barbie pink i love that in 09 which is kind of like a fuchsia pink really pretty in 10 which is like this mauvey purple color in 11 which is this really really pretty mint green color and then in 12 which is this really pretty kind of like light olive green color yeah y'all i'm absolutely loving this collection um i did check on amazon right now and it is still on sale for only 11 dollars. i think for 12 colors one step gel polish you don't need a base you don't need a top it's a great deal so if you guys are interested i am going to leave it linked down in the description box below and also make sure you guys stay tuned to my community tab to make sure you all are seeing these deals as they come so i am going to try to do a really quick nail set i think i might end up doing another valentine's day set and it's going to be like a spring time valentine's day set if y'all are curious about how i got this look i will leave the full tutorial for this link down in the description box below i'm just going to go in with some press on nails i still haven't had time to remove my gel overlay my hard gel overlay this is lisette's gel nails um so if any of you guys are interested in her products you all can see that they do last i think i'm going on three weeks to wear now so i'm ready to take these bad boys off but i just ain't found the time to do it Alrighty, so i am back and i'm ready for this quick little press on set here so you all know the first thing I like to do is go in and remove that little tab from the tip of the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all the nails. I'm excited to use this one step gel polish. So I'm not gonna go in with any type of base coat, any type of prep, none of that. I'm going right in with these colors because it's a one stop shop. I am gonna go in with the N01 on all of the nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that like so. That's a really pretty color. Yeah, I really like these gel polishes a lot. They really creamy though, really nice. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails are looking like so far. I'm really loving, like I said, that non-tack. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, next I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make a split heart. I'm gonna do a little bit of nail art. I'm gonna make a split heart between these two nails. And then I think I'm gonna go in with some bling and keep it a nice simple set. I'm gonna hold these two nails together because I want the heart to kind of line up properly. So this is N10, N09, N04, and then N08. And so that's how I'm gonna do my heart. What I'm gonna do is just kind of start the heart kind of in the middle of the nail, then bring it around like so.
right and then over here I just wanna I'm just gonna tap it yeah <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to make the same looking heart on this side like so Okay, I think I need to make the heart a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more here. That's perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill these two hearts in. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Alrighty, so from here, I'm gonna go in with that blue color and create another heart, just outlining the one that I previously did. Like so. I'm gonna cure for 60. Repeat the same thing on this now. I will say these uh, brushes are, I mean, I will say these gel polishes are really opaque too. The fact that I'm able to go in with one coat for my nail art is pretty impressive. Just wanna compare the two really quick. Yeah, that looks good to me. So for the rest of the hearts, I found it easiest to just go ahead and outline the previous heart that was drawn. Um, so that's what I'm doing on both the middle and the ring finger to create that split heart. And every so often I'll hold the nails together also to make sure they're kind of sort of lined up. Um, and then um, as you all are doing artwork, you know, just make sure you clean up as necessary. I think you'll see here shortly. Yeah, here's me just kind of cleaning up some mistakes I made, just crisping up some lines. And so, yeah, this is the finished look. This is what I came up with. So hopefully it looks like a heart. And so, yeah, I was at first gonna go ahead and do the whole nail like this, but honestly, I don't wanna keep drawing. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go around with bling around the outside of the heart. And I do have this bling box that I got from Amazon. I've really been loving their bling boxes, by the way, you guys. I actually have quite a few of them. I wanna do a full review, kind of comparing all the bling boxes I got from Amazon, but this is one of them. And so I wanna go in with some bling um, around the heart, and then I'm gonna do some bling placement on my index and pinky finger. I'm gonna go in with my Beatles rhinestone glue, just because it's right here and in front of me. And I am just gonna go ahead and outline the outside of these hearts here, okay? Like so, with the glue. And that's just gonna give it something to cling on to. I'll come on the other side, do the same thing. I'm gonna go in with my Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat. Okay, Abby people, so after I finish applying the top coat, I do go in with the two different colored rhinestones that came in my bling box. It came with like this really light, kind of pink iridescent, and then a um, kind of like a fuchsia pink, like a deeper pink um, rhinestone. And so I'm just gonna alternate that um, between the light and the dark one all around the um, perimeter of the heart and I really like how the heart turned out this heart actually turned out a little bit crooked but overall I am loving how the bling turned out when it comes to bling placement just make sure you all are taking your time and placing it exactly where you want it to be before you cure it underneath the light this is how my heart nail turned out I am a little sad these rhinestones kind of shifted outwards a little bit um, and so it's not like that crisp line like over here, but that's okay. I'm still gonna roll with it So next I'm going to go in and do some full bling on my index and my pinky finger I'm going with my index finger first and again I'm going with a little bit more of my rhinestone glue. This stuff works really good too. this Beatles rhinestone glue I like it a lot. I've used it for a couple of press-on sets that I've done for friends and um, one of my friends currently she has on her set and she's had it on for three weeks and I did some rhinestones at the cuticle of all of her nails and not one of them have popped off. So yeah, this gel, this Beatles rhinestone glue is really good. And so now I'm gonna go in with my Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat again. And just apply that to the entire nail. And y'all know my sets ain't complete without a little bit of blingtivity. So this is the beautiful bling I'm gonna be going in with. Gorgeous! So I found that when doing bling placement that it's way easier for me to go ahead and plan out how I want to place the rhinestones on the nail as opposed to doing it on the spot. So that's just a quick tip for those who are wanting to practice their bling placement. That was a goal of mine last year and so I'm happy to be trying to achieve it this year. Loving it. Yes, y'all, can we get a moment for this bling placement, okay? She is, oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this is how my index is looking and my pinky, baby, this is a hot set, okay? <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna go in with um, my thumbnail and I think I wanna just try to use the rest of the bling that's here 
And then I also pulled out a heart from my bling box. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of the glue here. Maybe a little bit here and a little bit here. Okay, happy people, I wanna get your feedback really quick. How are you all liking my reviews of the affordable Amazon nail supplies? Um, let me know if you all wanna see more reviews from items I've listed on my community tab. If so, I will keep them coming. This is what we have so far for the set. This definitely turned out being a lot more extra <laughs> than I was anticipating, but I am loving the bling. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this hand and we are gonna get it to the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how this set turned out. Do y'all see the bling, okay? It's the blingtivity for me in this set, like wow. I'm very, very proud of myself with this bling placement. Um, I think my heart turned out okay. I think I should have did I don't know if it looks like an actual heart or not. I think the insides could have came in a little bit more, but overall, baby, the bling make up for it, okay? This set makes me so happy. I could just sit here and stir at it all day. So yeah, y'all, my final thoughts on this Nail Whisper gel polish set, highly, highly, highly recommend it. I do really like these gel polishes, actually, and I love the fact that they're one-step polishes. Like, that's crazy. Like, no base, no top needed. All you really need is to put on a coat, two coats of it and you're done. So again, this kit is 11 bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna leave it down in the description box in case you guys are interested in it. I'm surprised that it's still on sale for this amount. This is a great steal, you guys. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'm hoping next week I can pump out another Black History Month set, so wish me luck on that. Life has been getting kind of crazy lately, but that is the plan. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye